What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to the Glory. Today we are back, continuing on the Serie A Tots grind. We've got the guaranteed Serie A Tots pack to come at 6pm today. We've got the MLS Tots, the rest of the world Tots to do. We've got an 84 plus pick from the Serie A, so there is plenty to get into. Plus we've got plenty of packs to open and objectives to do and SPCs to complete. So, without further ado, we're going to hop straight into things. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave the video a like rating, and as I say, um, there is a plenty to get into. Starting off with the Daily Cup, um, I've gone through and I've played all four games, no, all five games. I've lost four. Um, we only won one today, but that doesn't matter. We're still going to get Meg Pack back, which is great. And then all we need to do is tomorrow or Thursday, we just need to obviously win another two games. And then we'll get the Serie A 10 pack. Obviously, we want that before we get to Friday. Um, and then after that, I'm not really too bothered. These can be done over the course of the week. Not too bothered there. Um, in terms of what the plan is, um, I think I'm going to try and get some more of Lopez complete um, just to obviously get that token done. Obviously, it means we can get rivals done, which is great. Um, Lotaro Martinez will probably do on like Thursday, in all honesty. Um, in terms of over here in the objective still, Silver Stars, we need to get this done. Hopefully, a lot of people do in gold and gold and stuff just to get that complete. The Silver Beasts, we've still got a few days to do it. But even still, I'm not too sure if I'll complete it. I'm not really too bothered by 55k pack. So again, we'll see with that. Um, as I say, SPCs, we've got plenty to do. Honestly, fodder is just going to go into all sorts of places. Normal duplicates will go into these two packs. Um, obviously, we've got player picks as well to do, which is great. We've got an icon moments pack to do at some point. Um, Kessie, I want to complete him. Delafay, we're not now going to do. But on top of that, we've obviously got the rest of the world tots to do first and also the MLS tots just because I want that card. Um, so... There's a lot to get into. Um, I think we've got, what, an 86 and 87 on Kessie, so that's anything for high rated. 83, well, to be honest, 82s, 83s, 84s, 85s will be going into this upgrade as well. Once all of this is complete, then we'll obviously do the icon pick, um, but this could be something that we do on Saturday, just all in one. We'll have to see it with that. But as I say, um, one thing that we did also have was a Serie A pick. Um, so we will go hop into that. I haven't done any more play picks, but we will get some more done at some point today. So, we are going to do a play reveal, because I want this to be good. Chances are, um, it's not going to be a team of the season. The ones that I have seen, a few people have got team of the seasons, um, a few people haven't. It's mainly sort of a 50-50 split, so it is open. And the first question is, do we have duplicates? We do. We have one duplicate already. Is that going to be a team of the season? It is. Okay, so straight away, we've got some fodder to put into an SBC, which is absolutely perfect. In terms of the other two... Um, do we have one? We've got another team of the season. Okay. So in terms of the team of the season that we already have, it's Chan and Oglu, which isn't too bad. We've got Illicit as well. And then it's whatever team of the season this is going to be. We don't have them already. Now, to put into perspective what we have, we have Manan, Bremer, Skriniar, Quadrado. We also have Chan and Oglu. Plus we've got, who else have we got? Berardi. I think that's it. So in terms of who we could get... This could be good. All that I'm asking for is a Tonali or a Take Brozovic, um, Vlakovic, Dybala. Obviously, all of them would be fantastic. So, in terms of what we're starting off with, 95 physical, 88 defending. I think this is Milinkovic Savic. 97 dribbling, 93 passing, 88 shooting. Oh, it's 85 pace. I think this is Milinkovic Savic. I was thinking it could have been Teo Hernandez. Um, I don't think it's going to be. It is going to be Milinkovic Savic. Again. I'm more than happy with that. Um, technically, we have packed two team of the seasons there, but we're only going to count it as one um, just because it's the only one that we can take. But for an 83 rated team and two informs, that was absolutely worth it. He isn't worth much. I'll be honest. He really isn't worth a lot of coins right now. Um, in terms of his price, he is about 80 odd, 90k. Um, but still, a card that I'm very excited to use. One that I'm going to try and fit into the team. Um, in terms of who he's going to replace, I have no idea. But he will be replacing somebody at some point. Um, in terms of the Serie A team, to be honest, McKenny now comes out and I'd say he could be fodder um, just because he doesn't get into any other first owner um, nation teams. But Linkovic Savic, where is he? Was he high rated? Oh, there he is, 94 rated. Didn't even realise he was a high rated. Again, another tots going in. Um, we could put Manan in goal. Um, obviously, we still got the Raspadori and the Pellegrini from SBCs. Channel Oglu doesn't really fit in. This um, Carsed Up card is fantastic. Really enjoying him. Tonali would like an upgrade on him. Um, if we could get 
anybody to replace Insigne, that's great. If not, I'm not really too bothered. Um, we could easily replace him with Pellegrini. And then obviously an upgrade on our red Teo Hernandez. Bar that, Serie A team of the season is looking pretty decent. We've packed quite a few of them now, um, so we cannot complain with that. In terms of the main team, um, I can't actually remember who we've been using. Obviously, we had Ronaldo up there. We were using Genduzzi, so it will mean that obviously we can bring in Milinkovic Savage very easily. And I think because we've got that link to him, and also because he's our best striker that we have in the club, we are going to use him overlay. Um, so we will use this for a few games in qualification just to sort of test it out. Again, it's a really, really nice team. Cannot complain with any of it. I'm really enjoying Saliba. Um, he feels very, very quick on the ball. Really enjoying his card. So again, not too bad. Lafont is really good as well. Overall, I'd say this is the best team we could probably make. Um, maybe Del Piero for a different camp would be the next best thing. But again, I'm not really too sure who we'd replace him with. Um, obviously, we've got a few packs to do. So we will go through and open a few. Um, as soon as we get a duplicate, we will go through and do either a player pick or we'll go through and do an SPC. We'll go through and do one of the guaranteed packs. Obviously, we're going to do the rest of the world first, purely just because we get the token from that. And then we'll do the MLS just because, again, why not? So Jimenez coming in there is very nice. Um, Andre and the lot is going to be tradable. Andre will get rid of. Again, not really too bothered with that for now. Um, but as I say, you know, if EA want to bless us with a few good packs, you know, we've got plenty of 45k packs to open. So a few team of the seasons here or there wouldn't go amiss. A few boards wouldn't also go amiss. Um, but, you know, typically EA never given us anything. However, we are going to get a few 82 rated cards. All looking to be tradable for now. Um, Kubo is also tradable. This guy is untradable. And Chambers is tradable. So for one card, again, I don't mind discarding one or two cards here or there. If half of that pack was untradable, then yeah, fair enough. We'd go through and obviously deal with the duplicates. But if we don't have to, we're not going to. And so we're going to go and pack a walkout. We're going to go and pack Andy Robertson, which is very nice. Um, I don't know if we pack him at all this year. Um, if we have, great. If not, it is what it is. And we've got a few duplicates to deal with here. So I think what we will do is, even though these are tradable, do we use it as an excuse? No, we'll keep going. Uh, we'll keep going with packs. We could easily use these in the SBC, but because the whole pack is tradable, we won't. We'll wait for an untradable duplicate to use. Because here, we're probably going to pack... Uh, no, duplicate team of the season, Chan and Oglu, is my guess. It's bored. It's going to be English. Henderson will be a duplicate. Um, it is going to be Luke Shaw, which again, isn't too bad. Stindle is true. Oh, he's untradable. How many of these cards are tradable or not? All of these looking to be tradable? Yeah, so again, all of them going up. One card to get rid of. In terms of the cards that we discarded, probably about two and a half k's worth of value. So again, not too bad. So we'll go through and do another mega pack. Obviously, we've got this from the objective. Chances are, could be good. It's going to be a walkout again. It is going to be Spanish centre-back. That Laporte, again, not too bad. Um, Teo Hernandez behind him as well. And then duplicate-wise, again, nothing too high-rated. Um, but it does look to be that we'll have a few untradeable duplicates here. So what I might do is we'll go and build a few play picks. Um, we'll then go hop into the guaranteed packs with the duplicates. I'll be right back. All right, and guys, so hopping into 6pm content. Um, obviously, we've got a guaranteed Serie A pack today for the SBC. Um, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a short video, um, just because I completely forgot to record the other part to this. So we will have the guaranteed rest of the world pack now. MLS pack, we're going to do tomorrow's video, um, just to make things a little bit easier. We will also have the 10 times 80 Serie A pack as an SBC today. Plus, we'll also have it from objective. So again, we'll make sure to do that. Obviously, we've already packed um, Milinkovic Savic today, so that's not too bad. We've got rival wins to do, so tomorrow's video is going to have rival rewards in. So it's going to have milestone rewards. We'll also have a brand new milestone to do tomorrow. Um, so there's plenty that we can get done. Um, I never got the silver stars done. Purely just down for the fact of I, I kind of valued sleep a bit more than just a player. So again, it is what it is, but that's fine. Um, in terms of this week, our silver stars is going to be, I mean, useless to me. He's a Brazilian striker that will fit in no team. So again probably going to miss him out Um, you don't get any of the tokens so that's absolutely fine or well, i don't think you do anyway if you do then we'll make sure to do it if not it's absolutely fine um latoro martinez needs to be done soon lopez i'm going to try and get him complete obviously with the rival wins which is fine then we'll do martinez um thursday night to obviously get that done before friday Serie A plus obviously i say we'll get that done today with the Serie A cup win hopefully two more wins should be doable we will see um, but in terms of sbcs i think we know sort of the sort of normal ones that we're going to get whether we get a player spc today i'm not too sure we are we're going to get kapari 
Again, not a bad looking card. Four star, four star, 96 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing, 94 dribbling. A maestro on him could be pretty good. Um, I think that could be actually quite a fun card to test out. In terms of what you need, an 83 and an 86 rated team, not too bad for him. Um, I think it's very easily doable. Sort of similar to Delafeu, a very similar card, but also a left winger that we haven't really got right now. So again, probably one that we might do over the next few days, not 100% sure. Um, we do have quite a lot of SPCs to do. As I say, the MLS team of season, we will get that done. The Serie A times 10 upgrade is back out. Again, we'll get that done. We've got another Flash Challenge SPC. Don't really care too much. Um, another daily SPC. Well, no, this was yesterday's daily SPC. Not worth it. Absolutely not at all. Um, the Serie A Challenge 6. Again, we'll make sure to do this guy for another token. And then on top of that, um, do we have the guaranteed Serie A pack? Maybe we don't. Should be today that we got it. Um, is it there? No. Okay. Um, don't know what's happened here. Weirdly enough, the guaranteed Serie A pack isn't out. I don't know if EA have messed up with that. Um, I I think they've messed up, which is kind of a standard that EA have messed up. Um, hopefully we see it tomorrow. Um, hopefully we do see this as an SPC. But for now, it will save us a bit of fodder. Um, to get the MLS done. So, yeah, it is what it is. We'll make sure to get all of that done as soon as possible. We're obviously going to build up our packs over the next few days anyway. I'd like 75 to start the ultimate team of the season. But at the same time, I'm kind of thinking we need to work through our packs. So, even if we had, what, 50 packs, we're still going to have player picks to do on Friday. We're still going to have plenty of upgrades to do over the week. Obviously, we are changing in terms of red picks. Um, EA are slightly changing that up. Thankfully, they have also updated the store to get rid of every single pack. Clearly, that was just an error that they had. Um, no real shock there. No preview pack still, though. Pretty disappointing. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on, uh, I'll be honest. So, yeah, we'll see what we can get done. But what we'll do is we'll do a 45k, a 50k, and then our rest of the world team of the season. Realistically, Tavernier is the only one that I want. Um, other than that, I'm not really too bothered on who we get. Um, in terms of duplicates here, we will just discard them. Tomorrow, I want to get a load of player picks done as well. So, we'll try and get maybe 10 or 15 player picks in as well. Um, just to see what we can get. So, the 50k pack. You know, here's with another blue. That will be kind of nice. Um, it's not going to be. It's going to be boards. It's going to be a German centre-back. It is going to be... Don't know. Ginter. Great. Oh, we've got 284 80 players. He's tradable. Jimenez is untradable. Ooh... Give me two minutes. Going to go and build the MLS team this season. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, thankfully, very quick to do that. We're obviously going to get rid of Jimenez. Actually, one thing that we can do is that we did go and pack, I think it was Hermoso there as well. Um, so he can go in. Let's go to Thorgan Hazard. There we go. Still got a chemistry. Bish, bash, bosh. MLS team this season done as well. So we're going to open that. Uh, didn't think we'd be doing it, but considering we've got the duplicates there in that 50k pack, we may as well get that done. Um, takes us down to 45 packs altogether. Obviously, as I say, we've got tons of packs to come over the next sort of 48 hours really and um, just from obviously all the objectives that will get done from all the SBCs that will come out from pretty much everything Um, hopefully some good content to come hopefully your guys rewards will be good tomorrow hopefully these packs have been good for you so we're going to start off with the rest of the world here's with an English flag Tavernier would be ideal is going to be Uruguayan I mean it's a nice card but completely useless to me because you cannot link him to anybody and there is so many better cards than him, and he's probably about 30k. Yeah, kind of standard. In terms of his stats, again, not bad. Um, probably looking to put an engine on him or something like that. Either way, not really ideal. Probably just going to go into an SPC at some point. I'd rather use him in an Icon Moment SPC. And then the MLS card, I'd like a centre-back Zinnemann. Um, he could be quite good. That Martinez, the Colombian guy. Um, apart from that, can't really think of anybody else too good, but... Anything to improve the MLS team. What are we going to get? It's going to be Brazil, centre mid. Do you know what? We will take this guy. He looked fairly decent. Jao Paulo. Again, all round, a very attacking sort of centre mid card. But not a bad little card on him. Um, again, fairly decent price for him. About 45k, 50k. It's because he's 92 rated. But still, not too bad. So that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.